the delete query is used to remove one or more rows of data from a table. The number of rows deleted is dependent on the criteria within the WHERE clause of the delete query. You can remove multiple records at one time and can specify which records to delete by linking to data in another table. Here is the syntax. Table name, the name of the table from which to delete the records. Join, join clause is used to join table if records to be deleted are based on values in other tables. Criteria, condition that determines which records are deleted. To delete all of the records from a table, you can use one of the generic statements. The contacts table has few records. To delete all the records from contacts, use this statement. Run the query. Open contacts. All the records are deleted. Only the data is deleted. The table structure and all the table properties such as field attributes and indexes remain intact. To delete records based on a criteria, use delete and where clause. Sales history has orders placed in 2021 and 2022. Use this statement to delete orders from sales history where order date greater than or equal to 1-1-2022. A delete query deletes entire record, not just data in specific fields. So which fields you list in the delete clause does not matter when deleting. You can preview the records before deleting. Click on view and select data sheet view. The records that are going to be deleted are displayed using the fields listed in the delete clause. Run the query. Access shows how many records will be deleted. Click on S to confirm. Orders placed after 1-1-2022 are deleted from sales history. Use distinct row with delete queries for non-key field joins. We have two tables, contacts A and contacts B. There can be multiple records for a person in contacts B since a person can be listed multiple times based on contact type. To delete records in contacts A, which exists in contact B, use this statement. Join contacts A and contacts B based on first name and last name, which are not key fields. Run the query. Access displays an error. This happens because when you join two tables based on non-key fields, there might be duplicates. Click on View and select Datasheet View. This will show the preview of rows that will be deleted. There are duplicate entries for some rows and when access tries to delete, it will be confused. Use distinct row in the delete clause. This will return only unique rows. Now run the delete query. Open contacts A. Records in contacts A existing in contacts B have been deleted. You can use delete to remove records from multiple tables that are in a one-to-many relationship. Cascade delete operations cause the records in tables that are on the many side of the relationship to be deleted when the corresponding record in the one side of the relationship is deleted. For example, there is a one-to-many relationship between customers and orders. Cascade delete Related records are checked. Customers is on the one side and orders is on the many side of the relationship. Run the query to list the orders placed by customer 7. This query returns orders placed by customer 7. Use this statement to delete customer 7 from customers. Run the query. Deleting a record from customers will also delete the corresponding records in orders. Customer 7 is deleted. Now run the customer orders query. The query returns zero records as all the orders have been deleted. To download access example file, please click on the link in the description. If you like this video, please subscribe to our channel.